Good evening and a warm welcome to those joining us in Chester Cathedral for this service of Evensong. Welcome to those here in the choir. Welcome to those joining us on YouTube. You're all very welcome. The Psalms this evening are Psalms 69 and 70. Please be seated and stand for the Gloria. Thank you. 
The first reading is written in the 61st chapter of the book of the prophet Isaiah, beginning to read at the first verse. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and to release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, to display his glory they shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. Foreigners shall till your land and dress your vines. But you shall be called priests of the Lord, 
You shall be named ministers of our God. You shall enjoy the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you shall glory, because their shame was double, and dishonour was proclaimed as their lot. Therefore they shall possess a double portion. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. Here ends the first reading.
The second reading is written in the sixth chapter of the Gospel according to St Mark, beginning to read at the first verse. He left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James and Joseph, and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offence at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honour, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do, do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Here ends the second reading.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence she shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
choir will sing the anthem, He That Hath My Commandments, William, music by William Monday. Let us pray. Lord, we come to you in the assurance that you are present with us now. We do not have to seek your presence. We are daily living in your presence. Make us aware of it, make it real to us, and help us in these moments of prayer to know that we are speaking to one who is near and not far off, whose love is all around us, and who knows our every need. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We hold before God our broken world. Pray for those having the effects of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. For those suddenly bereaved, 
those in hospital, those trapped, and for those who help to rescue. We hold before God those in Ukraine, all the refugees and asylum seekers. Wherever they go, they may find welcome and a safe place to be. God of the nations whose kingdom rules over all, have mercy on our broken and divided world. Shed abroad your peace in the hearts of us all and banish from us the spirit that makes for war that all races and peoples may learn to live as members of one family and in obedience to your laws. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And a prayer for our earth, thanking God for the installation of Gaia that's in our south transept. We thank you, Lord, of all creation for the wonder of the world in which we live, for the earth and all that springs from it, and for the mystery of life and growth. We pray that our gratitude may be shown by our care to conserve the powers of the soil, by our readiness to learn from scientific research, and by our concern for a fair distribution of the Earth's resources. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church. We pray today for the church in Sale St Anne's, for the Reverend Canon Alison Cox and Mr. Paul Edwards. We pray for the wider Anglican Communion, for the church in Philippines. In this community, we pray for the prayer group that meets the Guild of Health that Jane Jones helps to organize. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in body or in mind. Continue to pray for Reg Taylor. In the quiet of our hearts, we hold before God those whom we have concerns for. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray for those who mourn and those who have died, remembering Chris Woodward, and all that she meant to Chester Diocese. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We conclude our prayers by saying the grace together. The grace, the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.